did is I had to ask like the VP and the administration if it was okay if Henry Ford Community College participated in this. And since there really wasn't a whole lot of cost, there was some cost, but there wasn't a whole lot of cost associated with it, um, I was referred by the administration to work with the Student Activities Office. And um, Cassandra and I, um, the Student Activities Officer and I, um, put our heads together to decide how we could actually make this happen. And I was relatively new to campus at the time, and so she referred me to um, Bill Seacrest, who's the head of the Religious Studies Department. And Bill Seacrest brought in Dr. Calvin Harbaugh, who is a sociology instructor. And um, pretty much the three of us started working on, you know, how we could make an interfaith engagement and community service challenge work. And um, we needed to work with the community. So I contacted Urban Neighborhood Initiatives. Well, the initiative uh, had been going on with All Saints Neighborhood Center. I'm a youth employment coordinator there. And through the work that they had done before with Christine Bell and then with Bo Tomlinson, um, I came on board with my group and started attending the, the meetings. Since they do border Dearborn, Urban Neighborhood Initiatives referred us to ACCESS, which is an Arab community center for economic and social services, and they needed, um, they felt a need in their community as well. So the Arab um, Community Services Organization and the Urban Neighborhood Initiative um, brought their young people together, and then the Henry Ford Community College students were actually mentors, group facilitators, and also participants in the overall challenge. It was a slow process of getting to the end result. The end result being working together, letting go of prejudice, letting go of a lot of the things that are pre-programmed into our, our psyche since we're little. Well, the first day, it was, you know, a bunch, well, bunch of strangers. I was a little nervous, not sure what to do, you know. And then as the time progressed, they broke us down into different groups. That was the first day. So we get a chance to learn about each other. There was a lot of high school students, and when I walked in that room, I had flashbacks of when I was a high school student. So I had to set this mental picture in my head and place it all over my body and put myself in, these, in this high school student spot. So when I talk to them, you know, I can understand what they're talking about, but at the same time, I still gotta be me, the mature me, and give them from my own experience from this world and give them advice. And so that was my first initial thoughts when I walked into that room. So they started off, you know, real general stories were told about, one in particular was the, uh, the made up tribe of people who shaved and, you know, did crazy bathing rituals and cleansing rituals. And those people ended up being humans. They ended up being just people like anybody else. Just the way that they get the youth started thinking about them was changed. So, oh, we were just making assumptions based on things that we do, just they were described differently. When we came to realize that it was actually us um, in, in reality, and a lot of the students had a lot of um, negative uh, ideas about that, but in reality it was us, and then we realized the diversity, how significant it is and how important it is. And in the end, um, it culminated with a community cleanup with a, with a volunteer effort in Southwest Detroit and just seeing all of the kids interacting, seeing all of the youth and adults working together towards a common goal really cemented everything that we had worked for because a, um, a lot of the youth from the Dearborn area hadn't been into Southwest and they got to see where a lot of the youth that were lived and what their life was like on a daily basis so it just kind of brought everything together. What I saw over the three sessions of the dialogue and then with the capstone service event at the end of each semester was that you definitely saw the young people grow in trust and feel more relaxed as the period of time went on. You know, there's no better way if to use, you know, your own free time or money or whatever it is just to help in students. I mean, instead of wasting on something that doesn't really matter or count, you know, you can be helping high school students out. So. I mean, I think it's really important for these uh, Henry Ford to keep it up and for these students to realize, you know, hey, I can volunteer, I can help, I can do this, you know. I think it's very important because it actually develops um, the person and um, their conscience and allows them to be um, more open to society and more open to learning about other people. It helps to build, um, I would say, build bridges. And, and I think it is good because we need to get beyond the skin color and the race and all that stuff to be a race of people instead of, oh, this person is different, that person is different because we're all human beings. 
When we look at the history of this particular culture and the amount of bloodshed that has been created uh, as a result of, of not understanding diversity or the result of the constructs that have come forth from people who have attached negative, negative uh, labels to individuals who are different from what they essentially were, I think these types of roundtables are essentially the opening of a greater uh, discourse that we need to be engaging in, not just in terms of uh, this particular program that we're having here, but this needs to be engaged in the neighborhoods, in the barbershops, at the schools, at the places of worship, etc. It's great for all ages, actually. And I think my experience is that the community college personnel, both students and faculty, are getting as much out of this as are the younger people from high schools. It's good for all of us because we're getting a real nice, focused, study, meditation, and experience of what it means to be in a multicultural society.